They're all amazing in their own right. Very different too, you know, very, very different. The band for me that had the most funk and all that kind of stuff would probably be uh, Past the Present. You know, their live shows as well, they're still really cool. But all those artists are really great, but if you just ask me on the spot, probably PTP. <laughs> it was written for me, it's my favorite. So that um, Life of a Gun, If I Ruled the World, uh, I still just recently found out uh, Black Diamonds and Pearls was the lyric on um, that Lauren Hill was singing. I never knew what she was saying. Mac Time Rules the World or something. <laughs> Black Diamonds and Pearls. But that Nas record for me is the epitome of incredible songwriting, uh, hooks that were just insane. I sing Cold Nights and Bloody Days, Bullet Sprayed, They Used Me Wrong, so I sing this song to this day. All that stuff, the way he puts together his lyrics, man, the life of a gun. I think how you can transport an inanimate object to make it have a personality and a life, that to me is genius. I was bored one day on Instagram. See, these are many faces of Andrew De Silva. I had no control over that one, <laughs> but this one, <laughs> I wore hats for a long time because I had a shaved head for like 14 years. I don't have the shaved head. The CDB days, where's the shaved head there, there? Then I started wearing hats as a joke and I would take my hat off to go, hey, look at this, and go, oh, man, your hair's growing. And I let it grow and let it grow and let it grow. And yeah, I just let it grow that way and I let it grow that way. I like that one because <laughs> I'd never do that again, but yeah. Gee whiz, man. Jodeci, shivers, oh man. That whole, I mean, to go from clean cut fellas in suits, purple suits, but suits, <laughs> to going, I remember when they first received their first Grammy, they came and people were expecting these Forever My Lady, you know, guys to come out slick and come up to stage. And that's when they just did their next record. So they came out in leather, machetes, and nunchucks. People are looking at them going, what the heck? Who are these dudes? They're monsters, you know, singers, producers, songwriters, and innovators throughout the whole period of 90s R&B. Not just because I'm Sri Lanka, but Sri Lankan food is off the charts. But out of all those, the thing that gets me is love cake. Probably the most unhealthy thing you'd ever eat in your whole life. 24 eggs, cashew nuts, nothing but love. So when, my, when someone makes a piece of love cake, it's only about that big. And if someone eats it in our family and they go, that's not bad. I go, you know what? You're not eating any more of that. <laughs> you either love it or you don't. Love cake.